lyrics to raping some Mara, masturbation on the throne of God, crucifixion of a thousand saints. Stakes are mounted with the heads of angels, nocturnal spells are casted, heaven begins to bleed. Uh, angels' wings now decay, prince of lies has been slayed, holy flesh will rip, black cum will drip, total blasphemy. Greetings. Welcome to my first video. My name is Max, I'm showing you my collection. I have a couple records consisting of vinyl, CDs, and cassettes. I should mention that my collection is mostly black metal, with some death metal, thrash metal, neo-folk, Spanish music, Japanese music, but mostly what we'll go through is black metal. I'm doing this because I finally have time. I've been moving a lot and found a good place to stay, so I can do this now. Um, in addition, a lot of the YouTubers that got me into black metal, like um, Count Blagorath and Craig the Gaze are now gone. I listen to mostly Kane and Bickle, the occasional Adam Schellenbach, Needle Drop, um, Brain Smasher, Scourge of Vinyl, but I thought this looked fun to do too. I'll be showing you again some records I have, some of them I like and some of them I don't like. I'll give you my opinion. Um, I have a couple controversial opinions you might learn as we go through this. So let's get started. This first one's a vinyl. It's a Beharit style black metal. It made waves when it was first released coming from Belgium. What we have here is Perverted Ceremony. The Seven of the Hezile. It is a great release. This is better than most Beharit worship black metal. Um, some would say this is even better than Beharit. I am on that side with the exception of Beharit's Engram. This is a real fantastic release. Jay the back. One of the guys here, Mormon Messiahs, also has a project called Monin of Sesbeth, released I think around the same year time frame as this one. It was also fantastic. Haven't listened to the newest releases. I did listen to its EP the year after this, um, but really fantastic. It's cavernous, it's evil, um, it is lo-fi, probably done in one take, like in a cave or a factory. Um, my favorite releases are Black Bird Demoniac and Lips of Impurity. Um, again, it's low, um, it, it hisses, the famous sort of Beharit hiss, um, even better uh, in my opinion. Tempo changes a lot. Um, the riffs are fantastic. Uh, it churns, it's visceral, it's ugly. Um, so it was a great release. I probably listened to this like 30 times that week when it first came out. I was blown away. Final is the Pink Splatter. This is, the, I guess, the side B because we have love the logo. I know a couple people don't like the logo, but I love the logo. Beautiful vinyl. Definitely have to listen to what they're releasing nowadays. Should find time for that. So yeah, that was Bird Ceremony. Sabbath has out. <laughs> Next one I have is Cassette. Uh, it was released last year. It was actually my second favorite release of 2019. Um, coming from Oklahoma City, which is a place I don't really think of when I think of black metal. This is Blataria with uh, Life is a Disease. Absolutely incredible. Um, it's a mix of Arismenda and Leviathan times 10. It, I've never heard something like this. One thing that really captivated me was there is a very strong effort to put the listener in his shoes. You will be entranced in whatever shit he's dealing with and it's not pretty. Um, it is legitimately scary. It is morbid. It's cold. It's angry. It's virulent. Um, it's a living nightmare. This guy screams and cries his heart out in this. Uh, the riffs are absolutely incredible. The, the rhythm throughout the record is perfect. 
Um, got to go back to his screams. I've never heard anybody scream like he screams. He's just crying. Um, but it's something else. Um, but the the talent in this is unbelievable. Everything from the guitar work to the, the clearly the vocals to the drum work is something else. Set's also beautiful. I found it on Bandcamp. Uh, I listened to it for weeks on end, just loving every moment of it. Probably my favorite songs from this are the first and the fourth songs. Um, Disgusting Planets, the first, the name of the first song, and the fourth one is Visions of My Corpse. I took out the the sheet. Really, really beautiful. Um, well done cassette. If you like Arismenda, you'll love it. Um, but I do think it kicks the living crap out of Arismenda. Don't get me wrong, I love the Black Twilight Circle, but um, this this was this changed uh, my year essentially. I loved this record. I wouldn't um, trade it for the world. I actually got it from the creator of Lataria. Uh, I think his name is Manuel Garcia. So I listened to it so much, I sent him an email just saying, you know, thank you for this release, I loved it. And he said, no problem, man, give me your address, so I'll uh, send you a physical copy. I read that and thought he meant like a vinyl or CD. Did not anticipate a cassette tape, but that's fine. More than happy with what I got. So yeah, man, check it out. Lataria, Life is a Disease. This third one's a CD, coming from Netherlands. It's Doom Metal Project. This is called Bunker with Bludgeon. Um, I don't think it's their first album, and I don't think it's their last album. I think it's somewhere in the middle. Um, this is, I haven't listened to this in probably three years, um, which says a lot of my opinion of this. This is a total crap fest. Um, it's an hour and a half or whatever of just droning on. It's almost like a rehearsal. Um, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if this actually was a rehearsal. Um, it just drones on. There's no melody. There's there's no direction. The vocalist comes in occasionally with the screams and gutturals or whatever. Um, the riffs aren't at all interesting. It's just low, low, low uh, doom. I'll show you photo of the band would hate to be the the crowd because this band sucks at least uh, at least this record was I don't know about their others I haven't listened to them black CD yeah I occasionally listen to doom I don't remember why I got this record um, but I do remember it ruining my day um, there's nothing of value to this, but if you like this droning, um, if you like something with absolutely no direction or very little to no talent, check out Bunker with Bludgeon. <laughs> All right, this next one's a split. It's actually from Black Twilight Circle. I believe it was released in 2018. Um, this is Volan and uh, Shajamatsa's split of God's Pandemonium. Um, I believe this is Shaja Matza's only release. Volan's released uh, some incredible records. Probably what you know of Volan is something like El Tigre de Sur. Um, this is not like El Tigre. El Tigre was very melodic black metal. Well, I would actually say this is more of a death record split um, with some black metal vocals. Really, really, uh, it's a really great split, I gotta say. Um, I think a lot of people are wondering why it sounds, why Volan sounds so different to what they normally uh, are like live and in the records. Um, but what people may or may not know is the, the guy involved in Volan and the guy involved in Treasure Matza ended up forming Blue Hummingbird on the left, um, which I did see, I think it was last year in Los Angeles. I've seen Volan a couple of times too with Ares Mendo. Um, and Blue Hummingbird on the left is a 
melodic death black band, I would call it. So it's likely that these guys just wanted to craft something in preparation for the, um, their new band. I would say that Shazer Matza's side is better than Volan's side. Um, but it's interesting the direction that Volan took in this record given their history. So this is a picture disc vinyl, seven inch. Just the cover, back and forth. You don't know which one's Volan, which one's Shazer Matza. Um, we'll say that the Lyrics are very interesting. I know a lot of people who listen to black metal don't really care for the lyrics, they like the music, and that's perfectly fine. I, for one, do like lyrics. Um, I think it adds a flavor to um, the music. Black metal, uh, sonically, um, as well as visually, is unlike any other genre in the world. Um, and I think the lyrics are an important addition to it. Um, I personally like learning too, so I was happy to uh, read more about uh, the gods and folklore involved in Aztec culture that Volan and I guess Shazer Matza are, are involved in. Um, we have folklore that references like Shababa, which is like an uh, Aztec version of hell. Um, I think, yeah, Ypec that um, Shazer Matza references is kind of like a chupacabra that like does white magic and heals people. Kind of interesting. The music sounds like the lyrics. The lyrics are all about, you know, hellfire and gods torturing, you know, humans as the tribes just dance and whatnot, you know, altars and all that kind of thing. Um, it sounds like that, <laughs> which is a compliment in, uh, in extreme metal. So I would definitely check out the split of Bolan and Shashamatsu's God's Pandemonium. And also check out Blue Hummingbird on the left if you like this too. <laughs> the last one I have is something I got actually recently, uh, as of this week. I did not know this band, I did not know this record, I didn't know anything about them. I picked it based on the cover. Um, when I was negotiating with a guy, and I'm happy I did because this is a fantastic release. This is Vukari with Divination. Vukari, as I read online, is a Chicago uh, post-black metal. Um, I would say it's a mix of uh, Wolves in the Throne Room um, and Alcest. Um, I can't say it's better than Wolves in the Throne Room, but I will say it's easily better than Alcest. I was shocked listening to this. Um, it is a perfect summation of post-black metal. It's atmospheric, um, the riffs are awesome, um, the vocals are great. Um, it has a very dramatic uh, tone, which I think um, post-black metal is kind of known for, um, but they do this very well. The second half, I don't know which one, where the second half starts, but probably it starts with Ad Delirium. Um, is, that's where it gets way better. Um, it's not like the first half is bad, but the first, the second half is way better. Um, kind of a boring vinyl, it's black, you know, has like these sort of cosmic imagery. Uh, did not include a lyric sheet, so I don't really know what they're talking about. I imagine, given the imagery, it's kind of about being lost and desolate alone and trying to find purpose or a lack thereof. Yeah, really great release. I actually will be looking for um, anything else they make. I'm lucky to be kind of in the area of Chicago, so um, I'll be looking out for them when COVID's over and live music's back on. So yeah, this is Bukhari, your divination. So yeah, that's all I have for this video. 
I'll probably be making more. I don't know when. I'm fairly busy um, with the other part of my life. And uh, if you like this video, you can let me know. Uh, if you hated it, let me know. If you like any of the releases, let me know and why. If you did not like the, the other releases, let me know and why. Um, got any recommendations for me? I'm all ears. It's my first video. Um, open to suggestions and criticism. So if you liked it, um, hope to see you the next time. Stay tuned.